Guys, have you ever lost a beloved movie or show because your DVD got scratched or lost? Imagine having all your favorite DVDs safe, playable anytime and anywhere without ever having to touch a disc again. Pretty neat, hey? Well, today we're diving into why you might want to convert your DVDs to digital files and how you can do it easily with a tool called DVD Ripper from DVD Fab. Back in a few seconds. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Seeing Through a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, let's start by understanding why converting DVDs to digital files is a game changer. First off, preservation. Digital files don't get scratched or worn out like physical DVDs. Once you convert your DVD into a digital file, that content is preserved in its pristine form. And the nice thing is, you can back it up as many times as you like on multiple devices, so pretty neat. I mean, next think about the convenience, right? With digital files, you can watch your content on your phone, tablet, laptop, I mean, virtually any device. There is no need for a DVD player or even a physical disc. And guys, space saving, well, digital files don't really take up any space, right? I mean, you've got a drive, that's the space. However many files you put on it, it's the same space, right? But, you know, discs obviously do, physical discs, you know, you've kind of got to keep them in a rack or keep them on a shelf or keep them somewhere. I mean, you could store thousands of movies on a single hard drive or even in the cloud if you wanted to, compared to needing tons of shelves to store those bulky DVDs. Also, guys, customization is a breeze with digital files. If you want to make a compilation of your favorite episodes or movie scenes or whatever, you can easily edit and organize digital files as you see fit. And compatibility is key too. I mean, digital files can be played on many devices and using different, a ton of different types of software far beyond the DVD formats that are still restricted by region codes and player compatibility and stuff like that. And last guys, but not least, portability. You can take your digital movies on a plane, watch them in a car. You don't even need to you know, have streaming or data or anything like that. You can just store it on your device. So that's pretty cool. Now, before we get into it, DVD Fab asked me to take a look at DVD Ripper for my honest opinion. And guys, you know that if you follow my channel, that whatever I review, you're always going to get my honest opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. So DVD Fab, this DVD Ripper, like I said, it's more than just a ripping tool. It's an all-in-one solution for DVD conversion. It can handle any DVD. In fact, you can convert into over a thousand video and audio formats, and it's compatible with over 260 devices, thanks to its preset profiles. I mean, who would have even thought that there's that many device profiles, right? But there are. Now, users can appreciate DVD Fab for its ability to maintain the quality of the original DVD while offering fast conversion speeds thanks to the usage of GPU acceleration. So, let's walk through the process of ripping a DVD with DVD Ripper. First off, guys, head over to the DVD Fab website and download the software. It's available for a free trial. Once it's installed, open the software and you'll see the interface. Now, look for the Ripper module and select it. Now, we're gonna insert our DVD into our DVD drive. Now, DVD Fab will automatically detect it and it will manage any decryption that's required. I'm using my originally purchased copy of Rush Hour. This is a great film. You know, it's old, but it's a classic. Then guys, we have some options. Now you can select copy, which will enable you to make a complete clone of your disc to another disc or an ISO file. 
You can also choose Ripper, which will enable you to rip to an MKV or an MP4 file. You can choose the quality, and if you want, you can choose which title that you want to rip as well, because you can get all of the titles up. And you can also choose DVD or Blu-ray Creator to make discs from your movie clips. And guys, if you go to Fab365, you have a ton of different video and streaming tools. But like I said, for today, we're gonna to focus on ripping our DVD to a video file that not only backs it up, but also enables me and you to carry our content around with us and watch them on our portable devices, negating the need for carrying physical medium. And also DVD drives, right? Because, you know, let's face it, most computers now, if you want one, they're external. But anyway, Looking back at the UI, we can see that our DVD content is displayed. Here is where you can choose which chapters, audio tracks, subtitles, etc., that you want to keep in your digital file. We can also pick soundtrack and subtitles. Then guys, you get some other tools to use. First off, you get a preview function, and here you can load your disc and preview the contents should you wish to. Second, you get to play with some advanced settings, including codecs, resolution, encoding methods, video quality, bitrate, and tons more. Next up, you get some video editing tools, and here you can change the crop rate and orientation of the video. You can add some visual effects like brightness, saturation, contrast, and more. And for added fun, you can also choose some preset filters. You can also create a watermark if you want to preserve ownership, you can create or add your own subtitles and even change the speed of the video. Add to all of this some basic editing functions that enable you to choose parts of a clip to rip should you wish to, and you are good to go. And we're pretty much good to go. And lastly guys, once you're happy with all of those settings, click start and let DVD Fab do its magic. In minutes, your DVD is converted into a versatile, portable, digital file. And guys, here you can see the file and the quality. It really is good. And you can see the movie playing on my iPhone with a file size of less than one gigabyte and it's still great quality. I'm just gonna put that up to the camera there so you can see that. But yeah, the quality is great. And guys, if you wanna preserve all of the extras on your discs, you can make a clone of the disc, which you can then store for backup purposes should anything happen to the original. Now, while most countries, you know, this is absolutely legal, right? But you still got to check in your country to avoid breaking any copyright laws. But a quick look suggests that for backing up purposes, you're good to go. So guys, there you have it. Converting your DVDs to digital files not only secures your precious memories, but also unlocks a world of flexible media enjoyment. With tools like DVD Fab's DVD Ripper, this process is straightforward, quick, and it is accessible to everyone. And guys, what about the price? At the time of this video going live, you can buy a lifetime license for DVD Ripper for $59.49. That is 50 cents cheaper than a one year license. That is incredible. So if you want to keep your treasured DVD memories safe or just be able to watch your favorite movies on portable devices without the need to stream, then now's the time to purchase this cool software. Head over to dvdfab.cn and get started. Guys, I will leave any product links and any discount codes in the description. And if you have any comments or questions, then please leave them below. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Guys, thanks to you for watching and thanks to DVD Fab for sending me this great and very useful software to review. I'm Dave with Scenes Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.